Okay, so I remember growing up as a kid, I hated school. I hated going to a place where they pumped my head full of shit that I was never interested in, like math or social studies or study skills. I remember having this teacher who was a real pain in the ass. She drilled us on organization and note taking, which was most of our grade. She'd explain to us that in order to retain the knowledge and remember it, that there were many steps, like being read the info, and then writing the info, and then reading the info. I thought, what the fuck am I ever going to need this shit for when I'm flying down the road in my Mustang GT with a booming sound system and badass rims and tint that was going to make me look like a badass or hanging out with my buddies in my bachelor pad watching my 2,000 inch TV with tons and tons of money from my job, whatever that was going to be. And I dreamed so big about everything. But what kid hasn't dreamt of doing adult stuff like driving a car or not having to answer to anyone, being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want with whoever you want. But then I grew up, moved far away from home, got married, helped raise a baby. Then when that fell through, I started working at the only job I can get, a dildo salesman. As glorious as a job as it was, I mean, I had a lot of fun there and I worked with people I really liked, so it wasn't bad. I had to move back home with my mom though. Five years later, the adult novelty store closed down. I'm 35, living at home, unemployed. Where did study skills get me? So six months ago, I tried programming. I figured I was going to write the next Jarvis or Dragon. I mean, I've been experimenting with it for two years. Why not just dive in? I was so enthusiastic about learning that I spent the next month, day in and day out, even some late nights studying. I even started to write my own voice recognition program. And I thought, I can make a career out of this. Then I got tied up in other things and time passed and I totally forgot about it. Today I couldn't tell you how to write a single line of code. In six months I'd forgotten everything there was to know. Everything I had learned. Everything I studied so hard. It was like aliens came down and they wiped my mind. Okay, so my friend, she's mentally handicapped. Not drooling in helmet handicapped. But when she was in school, they classified her with the mental capacity of a six-year-old. Then her mom passed away, and she had to deal with all these new feelings and learn how to cope. And it broadened her mental horizons. She graduated high school and started working for the school cafeteria. At this point in time, she's been doing it for 12 years. Now, she's good at what she does, not just because she's been doing it for so long, but because she still cares about what she's doing. And in the last six years, I've helped her through some of her journeys in adulthood, helping her out, giving her advice, even standing with her on some issues. And this year she has to retest for her safe serve food service license. So she asked me to help her study. Now I helped her study for it about five years ago and she passed the test. It was very easy at the time. This time it's a little harder. So I've spent the last week going through about 10 chapters, which is two chapters a day with her. When she goes home, I've been going through the book and typing out all the questions of her tests to see what she retains from the day before. Now she's been taking notes and having me read to her. And I myself find that I retain quite a bit of the subject matter. Finding myself knowing the answers to some of the questions without even having to look. She, on the other hand, with a lack of confidence, working so hard, she went to take the test today. And I realized that maybe it was easier to learn stuff when I was a kid. And now that I'm older, all the stuff I learned this week will be forgotten by next week. Makes me wish I can go back to my 12 year old self and say, wake up, pay attention. You need to learn all you can right now so we can do great things in our future. Now I myself am a man of many talents, but yet I still find myself not knowing what I want to be when I grow up. So kids, heed my warning now. Do your best now. Because you won't have a second chance later in life to learn as much as you need to know to be successful in the future. That's all I got. I'll see you next week. Now that you have heard my story, I am Margaret Clayton. I passed my Safe Serve certification exam 
That's where your study skills got me. I got an 87, bitch.